So this question is a translate word problem question, or TWP. I know that because it's a long question. TWP questions are typically four or more lines long. And the strategy here is we want to read one sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information from that sentence prior to moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says the total cost in dollars to rent a surfboard consists of a $25 service fee and a $10 per hour rental fee. So how do I want to represent that? In order to rent this surfboard, I'm going to pay $25. I'm also, right, so plus, going to pay per hour, so 10 I'll call it H. In fact, let me see the answer choices. Look like this using T. So let me just use T from the beginning. So T must represent the number of hours. And that's it, right? So that's my cost. So equals my cost, capital C. So there's my translation for sentence one. Sentence two says a person rents a surfboard for T hours and intends to spend a maximum of $75. All right, so they're gonna spend, they're gonna pay their 25 bucks. They're going to pay their $10 per hour, but they want that total amount to be less than or equal to, because it could equal, right? It's just a maximum of $75. So they want that to be less than or equal to $75. So there's my inequality for that. The question goes on to say, which inequality represents this situation? Well, I've already done all the work to represent the situation. So that's there. So which answer choice matches what I have here? Definitely not choice A. Choice B says 10 plus 25T. Well, that's reversed. It should be 25 plus 10T. Choice C doesn't even have the 10 involved. And choice D, 25 plus 10T. Perfect. So choice D is the correct answer here.